Hello everybody, it's Crystal from Beautifully Broken Crafts, Halls, and more. I hope you all are doing well. If you're new here, please make sure to hit that red subscription button and the bell next to it so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment below with whatever you think was your favorite find in this haul. On this channel, we focus heavily on shopping hauls, crafts, DIYs, some recipes, some home tours if I am decorating for specific holidays and whatnot. And that's about it. Whatever else I can throw together if I think of something else. Y'all, I feel like it's been forever since I've been on camera. I know I posted a collective haul with my Happy Mail. I think that posted that for Wednesday. But I filmed that last Saturday night. And it was late, late, late. Because my son Marcus was here with his friend. And then Marcus stayed until Wednesday. Work. I, if you're not new here, you've already heard that I um, was starting a new position at work. So that has been going on for two, two weeks now. Um, what I did in my career was I kind of took a step back uh, for personal reasons. But it's been a while since I have done, like, patient phone calls. I work in the health industry. Um, so I work for a pharmacy that um, deals with terminally ill patients. So what I do is I verify benefits for them and help them get, you know, help the doctor's offices with authorization and then help the patients with their co-pays if they're too high for them to afford, which a lot of these patients do have that issue because of Medicare um, I haven't been on the phone this much in years, though. And, not, like, I'm super nice. I'm a super nice person. But it's super hard to talk with a smile all day long on the phone because, you know, they can tell. So, my son kept asking me before he left, like, because I after work, I'd be taking a nap. And then I would get up and cook dinner. And then I would clean up a little bit. And then by 1130, I'm out like a light again. And I work 8 to 5, and he would be like, Mom, why are you so tired? Because uh, I'm not this, I'm not used, I'm not, I'm not used to being this nice 24-7 all day long with this smile on my face and in my voice and whatnot. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So, homegirl tired. These, these dark circles are real, y'all. Like, I covered them up. I think I have makeup smeared right here. No, that's just how my eyes are. Uh, Yeah. I'm pooped out. But enough of all my rambling. I spent three minutes rambling. Let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. It's going to be two parts. So if you see me in the same shirt, don't be surprised. If you want to know where I got this shirt from, I want to say I got this from Boscov's, which is like a department store, kind of like a Penny's or a Macy's. I don't know if every place has it. Uh, the brand is Democracy. It's an extra large. It's a nice soft sweater. I've had this for over a year now, but it's got these weird little studs on it. Here in PA, went from 60 degrees again down to, oh, I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning to go pee. It was like 15 degrees out. I was, like, the heat's on in the house, but, it, you know, you just get that chill in your bones. I was like, Burr. I had on a sweatshirt, sweatpants, an undershirt, socks. My comforter, my sheet, my sheet, my comforter. And, yep, I'm winding down. This is a Mark, Mark's. This is my first one, too. Mike's Hard Black Cherry Lemonade. One of Marcus's friends left it here last weekend because he had some people over. It's okay. I think it's going to be heartburn, though, by the end of the night. But... That's what I had in my little mini fridge, and I said, well, let me give it a try, because I have a couple twisted teas in there still. It's okay. So, here we go. I just spit. I'm so sorry. I have bags right here next to me and over here. So, we're just going to do half and half, okay? So, the first thing I'm pulling out of this bag are these carrot picks. You get two pieces. They're on, like, a skewer like a bamboo skewer they look to be wrapped in yellow and orange either twine excuse me or yarn let's go 
Out of the yarn. They're cute, but I'm not really digging the greenery. It looks like paper. But they're pretty big. Let's just open them and see if that's paper. That's paper. See, like to me, DT, you're upping the prices to a dollar twenty-five, and you're giving me paper. I could have done this myself. This is just styrofoam, and it's not even like wrap tight. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Anyhow, I did finally find the little mini Easter spatulas, which have the glitter on it from something else in this bag. I never found these for Christmas or any other holiday. So I was excited to find these. So one of them is pink with a bunny that says Hoppy Easter. And the other one is teal and it says Cottontail Farms. And then it says carrots, chocolates, and eggs. I just thought these were super cute. Try to get it so you guys can read it. Oh, don't look at my nails. They are, like I don't know if I'm going to keep putting them fake nails on my nails because... They're tearing my nails apart. Okay. I did find some color. Your own ornaments in the egg shapes. It's eight pieces because I can't remember if I have them or not. I really need to do inventory in my craft stash before I go to Dollar Tree. I never do. So there's that. I'm losing my mind. I told you. Um, I did finally, and we didn't have any of these signs for Christmas. What the hell is all over? Excuse my French, but there's something all over this. It's like it got wet or something, but it hasn't been anywhere. Anywho, um, the gnome signs. I know they did the one for Christmas, or the a couple different ones for Christmas. My store never got those. Did they do one for Valentine's Day? I don't remember. But I got the Easter one. It's just all the gnomes dressed like bunnies. And it says welcome. In a, but of course glitter. But you see the spots there. I don't know what that is. And you got a girl and a boy. And a girl and a boy. And a boy and a girl. And a boy. There's no way to fix that. Hmm. I mean if I hang it up far enough. Nobody's going to notice I guess. So there's that. Um. Then I also found, and I just like this simplicity of this one. It's just very neutral, and it just says Happy Easter. It's got, like, the buffalo check on the sides, and then the center of it is, like, that faux ship lap. And it's got some eggs at the bottom that look like they were sketched on there. Sorry if I keep looking that way, you guys. I'm watching the time because I have to go up to Peyton's work um, in, like, 30 minutes for her lunch break. Don't ask. You don't want to know. She drives me insane. But I just thought that was super cute. They had like a baby blue one and a soft pink one too, I think. But this was just the one I preferred. Uh, I just want to stay with the signs right quick. And then I found this sign. It's got a faux frame, like wood frame around it. Then it's got the buffalo check in black and white. And then in the center, it has another piece of wood, which is a little janky off to the side, which looks like shiplap. And it says, Cottontails, pick your own carrot patch. But again, very simple. I just thought it was really pretty. It would match my kitchen really well because everything in there is black and white for the most part. So I thought that was cute. But do you guys see how it's crooked? You can tell by looking right here. It goes upwards a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pop that off and re-glue it. I don't, I don't want to mess with it too much right now. Um, what else do we have? Oh, I'm going to slap myself. Okay, first I'm going to do this uh, cute little ice cube tray, but you can use this for like candy molds. Um, candles, you can use this to make little bunny butt candles. They had two different versions. They had this cute pink one with the bunny butts, and then they had... Um, Maybe a full-size bunny in blue. But now that I'm looking at it, I didn't look this closely at this till now. Because I got this stuff last weekend. I just didn't have time to haul it with everybody here. It kind of looks like it has a butthole on all of them. 
You see this? That's just rude. That's inappropriate. And it's even like you... I don't know if you can... You see the indent? The dent right... Oh. Why would they do that? That's not cute. Anyhow, when I picked up this wood cutout of a bunny, and this is why I'm going to slap myself, because I stopped at DT today after I dropped Peyton off at work. And I picked up one of these thinking I didn't have it yet. This is what I mean. Do anything for the crystal before you leave the house. Because you clearly don't know how to shop. Okay. Oh my, this one's stuck in the bag. Hold on, you guys. Sorry for all the noise. Okay. One more. I think this is the last Easter sign. I think. Don't hold me to it. Um, they had a bunch of the gnome cutouts. And they look like this. I mean, he's super cute. A ton, a ton of glitter. A ton. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see all that? Look at all that. Fallout's serious. I'm going to have to hairspray the crap out of this. But they had him, and he says Happy Easter. The carrot says Easter. And some other options. I don't know. This was just my preference. But I'm pretty sure they were all dressed like a bunny. You know, with the bunny ears and all that. So I thought he was super cute. And then I did find only one, and that's fine because it's just me, um, metal carrot race form, and it's orange. I'm going to try to hold my hands up so you guys can actually see it. It is a little green right here, but like that doesn't really... I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet if I'm going to actually make something out of this or not. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. Um, just some, we'll go, I guess you could call it stationary. In all the years I've been watching my YouTube sister, well, in the past year or so, uh, watching them haul, they've all hauled these prayer cards before. My Dollar Tree has never had them until now. So I picked up the only two options they had. So this, they both say prayer cards are both made by Crown Jewels, which is woman-owned. They both include 20 cards. So this one, they're both a tropical print, but this one has got like the tropical flowers on it. And on the back, it shows you examples. So it says today's prayer. And then like it says, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. And another, and that was Matthew 5.14. And then this one underneath it right here says he will not leave or forsake you i'm not going to read that word because i can't pronounce it and i'm going to butcher it but there's those i like the packaging those are those are fancy so and they all have a different prayer on them which i think is really nice so, you know, if I'm sending out happy mail to one of my friends or whatever, I just slip one of those in their card. And then the other one is the palm leaves. And then there's the back. I'm not going to open this pack, as you can see. But it does, like, the testing of your faith develops perseverance, James 1-3. Sing all you who are upright in heart. Psalms 32, 11. So, as you see, I shark my... I'm, my parents never got me baptized or anything, which is fine by me. Like, um, But my dad was a practicing Catholic when I was a kid, so I would go to Catholic church here and there and catechism and all that. But he doesn't even participate anymore in the Catholic religion. Not to say, you know, to each their own. He just chooses not to. He's just, he goes to a non-denominational church now when he does go. So, we all have our own beliefs. And uh, I say to each their own. You do you, boo. I'm more of a spiritual person. Like, believe, like Buddhaism, maybe. Like, I believe in the, there's fuzzies everywhere. Um, 
like you get back what you put out. So like if I am a negative person, I'm going to get negative vibes coming my way. Or if I do something wrong to somebody, then something bad, like, you know, karma, bad juju. I call it bad juju. So, like, I'm always telling people, don't bring your bad juju to me because I, I can do that all on my own if I want to. You know, I don't know. I keep rambling. This is how you know I missed you guys. Anywho, uh, Crafter Square stuff. They can't, they're coming out with like some sewing stuff, like some sewing, sewing stuff, which I'm kind of surprised by, but, um, I'm not a big sewer. I have carpal tunnel really bad in my right thumb. So sewing and I don't really get along all that well, but I can sew if I have to. And I do have a sewing machine, which I got more so for when Mark, Mark actually knows how to use it better than I do. He had to take home ec, you know, years ago, probably middle school when he learned how to sew and he didn't mind it. So we got a sewing machine, but then he just gave up. I, was, I should probably sew that thing, honestly, because I don't use it ever. I can't even get the thing threaded. I'll just sew by hand at that point or hot glue something together. Anyhow, they had the embroidery needle bundle. I don't know why they call this a bundle. It's just a cushion, like a push pin. Push pin. until 11 tonight oh my god I'm so tired. okay a push pin cushion i just thought this one was cute it's got a little pink and brown flowers on it it's smushy oh, it has a little wristlet there so you can wear it on your wrist and then i found these sewing needles it's 18 pieces so you get three two, 10 regular like they're saying they're self-threading needles. But then you get some bonus needles. Also, here's your regular self-threading self needles. And then your, your fancy ones, and I'll read it off to you. So, the two rounded ones here are called curved mattress needles. Then you have a carpet needle. A sail needle, an upholstery needle, another upholstery needle, a packing needle, and a glove needle, whatever that is. But I just thought that was a good deal for $1.25 to get all these different types of needles. So there's that. Uh, I guess I think I only got these three packs. If I find more, I find more. Um, three packs of these like gemstone stickers. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with them now that I'm looking at them. I mean, they're pretty. I'm probably gonna change them if I end up using them for anything. Um, but you get five pieces of these ones. So, I mean, they're pretty. They're like Victorian looking to me or something or antique -y. And then I got these ones. You get six pieces in this one. And these ones I do like. One of the stones fell off one of the crosses. They're crosses. Um, but I can reattach that if I want. And then there's another one getting ready to fall off. Um, you get six crosses pieces or six crosses in here. I really like this tiny one. I just thought those were pretty. I'll do a couple more things and then I gotta go. And then I gotta go, y'all. I got to go. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Hurry up, Crystal. We'll do this measly little three food items real quick that I got in here. So, first... I will show you guys the family size, the rice aroni, and the beef flavor. That was the only flavor they had. Now, we don't mind the beef flavor. The chicken flavor is our favorite. Actually, we just had that the other night for Taco Tuesday. I was going to make my family's homemade Spanish rice and tacos, like shells and all. But I was so tired. I fell asleep on the couch. I was, and because my kids are apparently helpless. They literally waited for me to wake up from that nap. And it was like 6.30, 7 o'clock. 
my daughter, they're, they're both sitting out here in the dining room. I'm in the living room on the couch with my hood up over my head out like a light. They, my son is the one who woke me up because he was messing with me trying to flick my lip and stuff. They say, we're hungry. Okay, go cook. I pulled the meat out. Mark's 22 almost. He knows how to cook. Peyton's almost 18. She knows how to cook. I'm like, so go cook. Why am I? Like, neither one of them worked that day. They were both, like, he doesn't work right now because he's got his own health issues going up, mental health issues going on. And she was off. She had been off Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. She was off. Sunday, Monday. Oh, Sunday, Monday. She was off for three days. So it was the third day she was off. And they legit waited for me to go in there and cook. So I just half-assed, excuse my French, and made a box of chicken rice roni for them. And I browned the meat because we had ground meat pulled out. And I seasoned it with cumin and chili powder and all that good stuff. And I heated up some tortillas. And my daughter, the only thing she did was shred up some lettuce. That was it. I said, there you go. Can't believe y'all waited for me to get up from this nap to cook you a dinner. That took me 30 minutes, not even. And then, well, we thought you were making homemade. Not at 8 o'clock at night, Mom. It was almost 9 o'clock by the time dinner was ready for them. And they're grown. And they're grown. This was my fault. I know it's my fault. Because I've been on my own since I was, like, I've officially been on my own. Like, I was pregnant when I was 17. And I lived 400 miles away from my family, so it was just me. Yeah, I spoiled them. I have a problem. And there I go ranting again. And we're 22 minutes into this. Okay, last two food items. Uh, they had the Hickory Farms Smooth and Sharp Cheddar Blend. I just picked this up to have in the house for these fools to snack on. Because, you know, maybe if mommy is taking a nap again and they get so hungry, she was hangry. Like Peyton, my daughter, was hangry like she had an attitude. And then I also picked up the Hickory Farms Sweet Hot Mustard. Wait a minute. This is fires in July. What? Okay. Here's that tiny little jar. Where's the expiration? Where's this darn? And this expires August 30th of this year. So one of these fools best eat this crap. Do I want to make you guys look at anything else right now? Um, um, no, I gotta go. I gotta go get Peyton for lunch. I see. That's it. I'm gonna be at the bottom at 30. <sighs> Okay, you guys, that was my part one Dollar Tree haul, and it's Friday, March 4th, so the part two will be posted, like, I'll still be in this, because I'm not going to go change my shirt, like, this is it, peeps, but I'll post it for Saturday, because I usually try to give you guys a haul video Fridays and Saturdays, Wednesday was actually like a, hey, surprise, um, yeah. So I'm going to go get her for her lunch break so I can sit in the car for an hour with her and then come back home and do part two, you guys. Okay. I love you all so much. I'm sorry for all my ranting today. Mama's just tired. Need a vacation. I haven't had a vacation. I have not had a legit vacation. Because I don't count going home to Michigan to see my family vacation. That's just like going home. So, because I do chores and everything when I'm at my dad. So, that, that is no vacation. I have not been on a vacation since Peyton was three, four, 14 or 15 years now. And that was to Myrtle Beach. It's past time for your girl. I got to go. I got to go. Anyways, I love you all so much for taking some time and spending it with me and listening to my craziness as usual. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're new, again, welcome. I'm sorry for the rant, but I do that occasionally because sometimes your girl just needs to rant and I don't really talk to that many people <sighs> because, yeah, I don't have time, obviously, to do much of my own. Um, 
Make sure you hit that subscription button if you're new and not already subscribed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really, ow, thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Uh, comment below with whatever you've seen in this video, which was your favorite find that I found. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's it, you guys. I love you all so, so, so much. I will talk to you guys soon. Uh, I love you guys. You have no idea. I feel so blessed to have you guys in my life. Mwah. Bye.